So now we're going to put the blade back in. Okay, make sure it's round the right way. Not the hatch. Somewhere in the right place. Top and bottom. Set the settings too much, we should. Take this back quite easily. Just going the uh, bearing that holds the back of the blade needs to come back a bit. It's got in the way, so I'm just pushing that with an adjustment back. Right, now we should be able to tighten this up. We should end up somewhere near where we were before. So we've got to get the teeth just over the front edge of the blade. Just slacking off a little bit. But somewhere near it. Okay, hand. Number two. And then we'll set up the tension using the wobble method. Just over the edge of the two wheels using the adjuster at the back. Just get a bit more tension on there. Make sure it's going to stay where you want it for some reason. You can be a bit careful because it's a very narrow blade. Hang on, we don't get it right. I've got a very small blade actually, and a uh, slight adjustment one way or the other, <laughs> and it'll be off, off the wheel. This one's not too bad. running just on the edge. Right, final adjustments using the wobble method. Okay, so that's in. I haven't put the guides in yet, so we're just going to do that after we've done the tension using the wobble, wobble method. So when uh, putting the carriage back on, uh, I noticed that uh, we have got elongated holes under these two nuts. Um, so obviously they can, it can be a, a the tilt can be adjusted. Um, I, th I think it turns out that the main, most important bit is that you make sure you've got your blade between the two guide supports there, obviously in the centre. Um, I did wonder whether it was necessary to have this carriage at uh, right angles to the bed, whether this should be right angles, but um, it's impossible to do that and keep that blade in the centre. So obviously it's not designed to be that critical with that angle, but uh, the obviously the blade mode needs to be in there. Now, while we're here, let's have a look at this uh, backstop adjuster. 
Um, interestingly, the blade runs, the back of the blade runs on that surface of the bearing. Okay, so as you can see, and it has got quite a sharp edge on there. So eventually that would wear out, I suppose. Bit of a strange arrangement, but um, it works very well. Um, most of them, as far as I'm aware, run on this side. Uh, so it's turned through uh, 90 degrees. But uh, this is different. So just as a little interesting fact um, on these these particular saws. And so the other thing is, we've just got to put in the, the blocks, uh, little wooden blocks to go in either side for the uh, guides on either side. I'll put the other one in so you can see it. And these are just little wooden blocks. which go like that, either side. So I've still got to tension this, so we'll get that tensioned up or I'll show you how to, how to do the wobble method. Uh, well, there are another, there's another video that shows this, but uh, we'll see how we, can, see how we get on with this particular machine. Right, let's see what we can do.